Bicycle Thieves, released in 1948. This movie story is still relevant today. The helpless people of our society are constantly fighting over many small things. These things can all be extremely small or invisible to us. The plot of this film beautifully illustrates the unseen realities of society. I sincerely hope you won't miss such a lovely tale by mistaking it for a black and white film. Please see the entire video without skipping a frame. So let's go to the main story. At the beginning of the movie, many people are seen crowding in front of a building, they all came here for a job. An officer came out and started calling Richie's name. This man named Richie, he is the main character of this movie. So another guy came to call Richie. The officer gives Richie the job of putting up a poster. But the officer asks Richie, do you have a cycle? Richie says, no, I don't have a cycle. Then another man from the side says that, sir I have a cycle, you give me the job. But Richie to get the job, he says to the officer, sir, I will somehow get the cycle. Because during World War II, any job was like a golden deer. From there Richie went to his wife, his wife's name was Maria. Maria was taking drinking water through the line. Maria is overjoyed when Richie tells Maria about the job but Richie also informs Maria that, he needs to buy a cycle to do this job. They have no money to buy a cycle. But Maria was most struggling wife, she mortgaged everything in her house to raise 7,000 lira. Out of which Richie bought a cycle with 6,000 lira and the remaining 1,000 for a nice uniform to go to office. Richie was so excited about the cycle that he carried it to the poster's office instead of riding it. There he learns about his work. Richie's wife was waiting for him outside. Richie walked straight out of the office to his wife. He tells Maria, you know, my salary is 3,000 and I will get a new pair of shoes every month. Maria becomes very happy. She says, then from now we can have three meals. That cycle was more valuable to them than BMW and more peaceful than that. Richie takes Maria to a religious place as per Maria's wishes. Maria goes upstairs and Richie waits downstairs. A lot of time passes, seeing that Maria is still not coming. Then Richie goes upstairs. Richie calls out to Maria from outside. Basically a woman here was praying for everyone. Maria says to Richie, I promised if you get the job, I'll come here and pay 50 lira, so I'm here to pay that money. Then Richie and Maria go back their home. This baby boy's name is Bruno, he is son of Richie and Maria. They also have a little daughter. The next morning, father and son went out for work. While leaving, Richie drops his son off at a petrol pump, little boy Bruno works at this pump. You can understand the economic status of their family. This little kid has to work too. Richie was very excited about his work, since today was his first day at work, he started putting posters with great care. In front of them two children were begging by playing the piano. Richie was doing his work very carefully. Meanwhile, another boy is shown watching over Richie and suddenly came and ran away with Richie's cycle. When Richie sees this, his soul separates from his body. He immediately ran like a madman after the thief. When he came to a four-way intersection, he saw that several roads had passed away from the surrounding area. He doesn't know which direction he will go. Then he saw a man wearing a hat on a cycle from a distance, Richie followed him. Richie requests a taxi driver to follow him. When Richie reaches the man in a taxi, he realizes that, he has come to the wrong man. This man is no longer a thief, Richie's heart breaks even more. Then he returns to his place of work in sorrow. He finished her work while crying more and more. The first thing that comes to mind is that he goes to the police station, and so Richie does. He went directly from there to the police station but there was no use. The police write a simple diary and ask Richie to leave. As the day draws to a close, Richie arrives at the local bus station to return home. But there were hundreds of poor people like Richie. They are all waiting for a bus. A bus also comes but Richie can't get on that bus even after pushing. So he was forced to walk a lot to the petrol pump where his child works. Here Bruno is waiting for his father for a long time. As soon as he saw his father, Bruno said to his father, why did you come so late? Richie doesn't answer as he walks silently and Bruno followed him. Father and son work all day and are now returning home. Bruno asks his father again, Dad, where is the cycle? Is the cycle broken? Richie tells his son, Yes, the cycle is broken. We'll fix it soon and bring home again. Richie doesn't say anything on the street. 
After walking a long way, father and son reach their home. But Richie doesn't enter the room, he sends Bruno inside the room and says, you go inside the room, I have some work outside. Then Richie approached his friend, tells his friend about the cycle being stolen. Then his friend tells the name of a place where all the stolen goods are sold, and tells Richie that, we will go there tomorrow morning. The next morning, Richie came to the market with his friend and his son. But the problem was, there were hundreds of cycles like Richie's. Richie gets totally confused. Next to him, a man was painting the body of a cycle. Then he went to him and wanted to see the serial number of that cycle, but the man refused to show him the number of the cycle. Then Richie scares him with the police, and in the midst of this argument the man's wife came out. The man's wife started quarreling with Richie again. After some time Richie went and brought the police. The police wanted to see the serial number of that cycle. Then the police checked the number of the cycle and found that it was not Richie's cycle. Richie gets upset. Then Richie's friend picks up Richie and his son in a car. It was raining heavily outside. They came in front of a factory in the rain, because it is the biggest factory in the city and everyone who works here has a cycle. Richie hopes that maybe here he will find his cycle. Meanwhile, Bruno has become completely silent after being wet by the rain. Richie and Bruno were standing. Suddenly Richie notices a boy giving some money to an old man and this boy looks like that thief. Richie immediately runs to catch the boy, followed by Bruno. Father and son started running like crazy to catch the thief, but they could no longer run with the cycle. They stopped. They ran back again, and they try to catch the old man. They are after the old man but at one point they lose the old man. After searching many streets around him they finally found the man on a bridge. When Richie asks the man about the boy, the man refuses to say anything about the boy. The man leaves from there, but Richie is not one to give up. Richie and Bruno follow the old man, wherever the man was going they were also going there. Then the man comes to a church and Richie also comes there. Reaching there, Richie explains to the man about his stolen cycle. But still the man refused to say anything about the boy. Then Richie scares the man with the police. Then the man got a little scared and told the name of the slum where the boy lives. Nothing says more than that. Then Richie asks the man to accompany him to the slum. But the man understood the opportunity and ran away from there. Then Richie and Bruno went around looking for the man but they can't find the man anywhere. The little boy has not eaten anything all day, searching for their lost cycle all day. Bruno then asks his father to buy him some food, but Richie slapped him in anger. Bruno's eyes began to water. Richie then realizes that he shouldn't have killed his son. Richie continues to apologize to his son, but Bruno is in a lot of pain so he angrily walks like himself. But can you stay angry with your father for a long time? So he went out again to find their stolen cycle. Because without this cycle, his father would not have a job. Richie realizes that his son is very hungry, so he was taking out his wallet and checking how much money he had left. He had very little money. With this small amount of money, he went to a nearby restaurant with his son. Bruno is very happy to come to the restaurant with his father. Richie calls the waiter and asks the price of a pizza. The price was too high. So Richie asks the waiter to divide one slice of pizza into two plates. After a while their pizza arrived. Bruno was jokingly eating it. And then it was seen that another family was eating at the next table. They were very rich and among them was a boy Bruno's age. Their table was full of food. Seeing the small amount of food on Bruno's plate, the boy glared at him, Bruno was saddened to see that, and his father takes care of this matter very well. Richie tells his son, don't worry, I will feed you a whole pizza when I get paid. Bruno continued to eat the slice of pizza. After that, they quickly finished their meal and left. Out of there Richie comes across a noble woman in that town. Richie tells the woman about his missing cycle. The woman just tells Richie, you get out of here, with your eyes and ears open and move forward. Richie doesn't understand women that well. He paid the woman's fee and got out of there. And as soon as he got out of there, Richie saw the boy. The boy ran away as soon as he saw Richie, Richie runs after him. The boy enters a woman's house, but Richie was not allowed to enter that room at first. Richie kind of forced his way in there and Richie was arguing with the boy. The women there then threw the boy and Richie out of the room. After coming out, Richie asks the boy about his missing cycle. Then the boy said that, I did not steal any cycle, I am not a thief, 
But Richie is not at all willing to listen to the boy. He tells the boy, I will never return home without my cycle, I will kill you if I have to. Richie and the boy got into an argument and a crowd gathered there. Then some local people come and ask Richie, are you sure that this person stole your cycle? Richie says, yes, I saw it with my own eyes. Then those people say, why don't you inform the police? As soon as it's over, Bruno leaves to get the police. And meanwhile that thief boy started acting sick. Then everyone there started blaming Richie for the thieving boy's condition. They started threatening Richie with various threats. Meanwhile Bruno brings the police there. The police came looking for the cycle thief. Then the boy's mother came out. She told the police, is there any evidence that my son has stolen? And if you doubt it, look it up in my house. The police accompanied the woman to her house. Richie and Bruno also go with them. They searched the house and found nothing. The police then separately called Richie away. Cop asks Richie, do you have any proof that the boy is a thief? Richie say, no, but I saw with my own eyes the boy stole my cycle and ran away. Officer says, we cannot arrest anyone without evidence. Then Richie came out with his son saddened by the lack of a cycle. The people there started insulting the Richies a lot. Father and son bowed their heads and walked away from there. They were walking down the streets of the city. Richie thought he might not have the job tomorrow, because it is not possible to do that job without a cycle. Richie walked to the bus stop with his son. Bruno is so tired, he just sits there. There was a playground with hundreds of cycles parked outside. Richie's eyes go there. So many cycles in front of his eyes but he did nothing for his one lost cycle. Suddenly, Richie's eyes went to a cycle in the distance. There was only one cycle and no one around. We understand that, something is going on in Richie's mind, but he is so confused he doesn't know what to do. He takes out some money from his pocket and hands it to Bruno and says take the bus. Then Richie started walking towards the cycle. After wandering around a bit, he ran away with the cycle. While the owner of the cycle started yelling from behind that he was a thief, then the surrounding people are also chasing. Many people chase Richie together, Richie runs away with the cycle. Bruno stands at the bus stop and sees his father being chased by everyone as a thief. The little man could not believe his eyes. After going some distance people caught Richie, and everyone started beating him. Bruno runs to his father. Everyone is calling his father a thief. Bruno started crying and said my father is not a thief. People were holding Richie and taking him to the police station. Bruno was also following them. When the owner of the cycle sees Bruno's face full of love, he tells Richie, I'm leaving you today, just by looking at your son's face. Bruno wiped away tears of happiness. People in the neighborhood were still calling Richie a thief. But Richie is completely silent as he walks with his son. Richie looked as if his body had become completely lifeless, tears are pouring from his eyes. Because this society has made him a thief in front of his own children. The tears of these people have no value to this society. A father walks with his son and gets lost in the crowd. And here this movie ends. A few days ago, I saw in a news, a man entered an ATM for money and killed another man. When the police asked the reason for killing, he said that in this society no one gives money to anyone. It's been a month since my newborn baby is very sick, but I've tried so hard I can't buy a little medicine for my baby. In fact, when we are born in this world, none of us are born as thieves, robbers or criminals. Sometimes this society forces us to be criminals, to commit crimes. Crime is not desirable to any of us. We all want a crime-free society. But it is regrettable, when I see that some poor people are massacred and killed for stealing some money. That man may have stolen because of his stomach. But the big thieves of this country, who do not steal because of stomach. They are smuggling thousands of crores of money from this country to other countries. Can we kill them with mass washing? They will also be judged one day, either here or there. However, I took a lot of time out of the story. Please forgive me if any of my words hurt you at all. And how did you like the movie, please comment. If you like this video, so please subscribe our channel. Because this is not our last video, more videos will come, so far today. See you again with a new video. Thank you very much for taking your valuable time to watch the video. Stay well, stay healthy.